So this is going to be a beginner's guide on how to choose a type of motorcycle to ride. What's up beginner rider? So you clicked on the video to see what bike to choose from. That's going to be depending on what type of riding you want to do. So I'm going to give you some options of what type of motorcycles are out there and you could go from there. But one thing guys, if you like this kind of content, like and subscribe if you want to see content like this, a beginner guide of motorcycle riding. If the feedback is pretty good, let me know in the comments. If you want to see more, I can make more videos like this guys. Let's get into the video topic, how to choose a motorcycle. Alright guys, so how to choose a motorcycle. So it's going to depend on what type of ride you want to do. So I'm going to give you the, I say the top five type of motorcycles that pretty much everybody kind of knows or hears about uh, there's a lot more types of motorcycles out there but like i said i'll give you the f first top five that my opinion you could go from anybody else but the first one i'll go, I'll go probably in order it will be a sports bike the second it's going to be a naked bike the third one is going to be a cruiser. Fourth one will be a touring bike. And the fifth one is going to be a dual sport bike. So depending on what kind of riding you want to do, those fives are going to be like the top ones that everybody kind of hears about or starts from. So let's talk about the first one but uh let me get on to the bike and go on the road and talk about it all right guys all right guys i'm on the bike so i'm gonna talk about a few top topics on every single one i'm not gonna go into detail on every single type of uh, on the top topics i'm just gonna give you kind of like uh, some pointers on what to see and um, and how to go from there. So the sports bike type of class that is more of like a aggressive look. That's pretty much how everybody sees on um, everybody's gonna choose from um, type of riding the sports bike. Everybody kind of picks that one because it looks cool. Everybody wants to get onto one and kind of ride from it but For my opinion and then can everybody else while well, you do your own research you can kind of see um, The sports bike is more aggressive. So when you sit down on it You're more lean forward um, Your legs are tucked underneath you and over time it kind of puts a lot of pressure on your back and your wrists so it's kind of the sports bike are meant for like yeah racing it's, it's tuned for um, track days uh, sports bikes are meant for like if you can do on a uh, street like short fun some hooligan kind of stuff but that's yeah, gonna be more aggressive on type of bike so if you kind of like that kind of style yeah you could go right ahead but for as a beginner type of bike you have not a lot of options in that kind of style because that kind of style has very few options i'll say so you cannot see on mine it's a r3 it's a sports bike but it's not a high cc bike so mine is a 300 low cc but how i'm sitting on it i'm sitting up straight my back is not hunched over uh, i'm not on top of the tank my legs are not too tucked in so i'm sitting down comfortably my arms are in front of me and they're they're loose i'm not putting a lot of pressure on the steering wheel so for long rides 
an R3, a low CC bike, this kind of type, is perfect for commuting and kind of a little bit more long distance. So it's kind of in between uh, like a sports bike, but still kind of like a comfort bike. So you have that kind of choice. The next option, the naked type of bikes. Those are considered still kind of sports bikes but they're kind of um i will say tuned a little bit differently they're a little bit more torquey uh the sitting type or uh, the sitting uh, style on it it's pretty much you're up straight your hands are forward you are not too tucked in it's made it a bit more of a comfort ride if you like any kind of style of like a a naked kind of look it's considered a naked type of bike because there's not a lot of fairings nothing or pretty much minimal of at all so and at the same time there's no oh I'll say not a big windscreen so you're gonna have a lot of wind hitting you so as a beginner type of bike there are a low C type of bikes and that kind of class so you, you like you have the the kawasaki 400 the z400 it's a naked type of bike you got the yamaha mt03 that's a naked bike then you got all the classes in that kind of style so for a beginner road bike a naked version it's a pretty good bike to start with so you could go from there depending if you kind of like that kind of uh, of a look and riding style now the third type of uh, bike you could choose from is the cruiser type the cruisers are like the harleys more sit back laid back your arms are more kind of in front of you kind of kind of draped on top of the handlebars depending on what kind of cruiser it is your legs are kind of depending on um, foot pegs if, it, if it's going to be a forward type of foot peg or a mid type of foot peg so the forward is going to be pretty much in front of you you'll be controlling the bike um, pretty much in front of you the mids are more kind of like in the middle of the bike your legs are more kind of at a 90 degree angle so depending on what kind of uh, comfort you want to feel like riding you could go um, your legs forward or your legs pretty much at 90 degree angle and the cruisers are made for more of like a long distance so if you are looking for a longer distance kind of bike pretty much the cruisers are gonna be the go-to for riding uh, like I said long distance because it's made for more comfort there's like type of bikes of like uh, Harleys that are made for that there are baggers those are like uh, we have bags in the sides um, they're more of like a lower down bike so you could be able to control the bike a little bit better for like uh, comparing to the the naked type or the sports bike uh, depending on your height the sports bike you might be on your toes depending on your inseam if you're a shorter rider it might be tougher then probably a cruiser would be better or if you want to go in the sports kind of bike than um, the nakeds so if you kind of because the nakeds are more yeah a little bit more uh, squat down made for like a comfort seat so in between you could go with a, a, a naked kind of bike so the sports bike you might be like I said on your toes nakeds are being more a little bit more comfort you probably might have a flat foot on the ground and the cruisers those are like I said your legs are gonna be at a stop sign it'll be bent 
uh, your feet are gonna be planted down you'll be able to control the bike so that's the cruiser so if you want more of a comfort seat from like a long distance you just want to chill cruisers are a go-to now the fourth type of bike that's gonna be the touring type of bike those have their own classes they have a sports touring baggers um, widely more available or more options so the touring type of bike it's they have a depending on what kind of make or model you probably be sitting down high they made for long distance those are made for like really comfortable long distance riding so your arms will be in front of you you're not gonna be leaning over the tank your legs are gonna be in 90 degree angles uh, they're not gonna be tucked underneath you um, those type of bikes might come with uh, bags in the back might be optional but depending if you are into that type of riding touring pretty much touring means it's gonna be long distance like cross country going to like maybe to Florida Yellowstone depending where but like you put in a lot of miles on so those bikes have way more options for like navigation cruise control hand grip warmers um, an outlet for your phone so if that kind of intrigues you if you want to kind of tour the country that bike would be pretty much perfect like I said the size varies a lot so it's gonna depend on you on what you want to start with uh, if you're gonna be a beginner rider that's more of like a the twin bikes are more like a they more advanced long distance you're known you already know what to do with the bike so as a beginner ride I don't recommend it too much and, and even for the cruisers there are some cruisers as low CC bikes so it's gonna depend on you so cruisers touring it's gonna vary so depending you have to do your own research you go from there but it's gonna be a comfortable bike but like I said it's gonna be dependent on you what kind of style you want to start with so now the fifth tip the dual sports bike just one thing guys on all these that's gonna be for my options uh, my opinions um, you can go online and search for what type of bikes you want to start with um, if you want to go into more detail on on these five topics or on the on these five type of motorcycles let me know in the comments I could make uh, separate videos on every single one so like for the sports bike have more like pointers so if you want to know more let me know in the comments so I can make a separate video but no worry guys let me get back into it the dual sports bike that one it's a for my opinion it's a cross kind of like a cross combination of a street bike and a dirt bike it has the look of a dirt bike but has features for the street bike so the dual sport has a dual on its like its name applies a dual function you can use it on the street and you can use it on the dirt because it's a it's a dual sport uh, dirt bike so what makes it a street uh, dual sport and all that it's because of the tires what it has on what they add on to it so they had a turn signals to make it true legal the headlights the rear brake lights um, to make it true legal you need to have those so literally the turn signals headlight the rear lights um, dirt bikes don't really have those they only have the bare minimum they don't even have a cluster on it so 
if you like that kind of type of motorcycle if you're considering kind of go off-roading that's actually a perfect kind of bike you could use it on road and off-road so uh, that sitting style of that bike you can kind of think about it like a dirt bike uh, you might have depending on what like I said again uh, the make or model there are, there are taller ones there are shorter ones so as a beginner kind of bike it's a good good one to start with if you're gonna be going on and off-road it'll be perfect actually uh, how you sit on it your arms gonna be in front of you they're not gonna be dra uh, dripping down so it'll be kind of sitting up straight your back will be straight your legs are gonna be not too tucked in but it'll be in the middle of the bike so you'll be able to control it and how you're gonna be at a stop sign like I said depending which type of model you'll be probably flat-footed it or you might be tiptoeing it so for as a beginner like I said pretty good those are the top I said my choices of type of motorcycles to begin with all right guys so let me kind of close up the video so depending on what type of bike you want to go so those are the top five from my opinion if you want to see anything else any other type of uh riding type of bikes let me know in the comments like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this but just to say two four it's a beginner type of bike what's my opinion it's going to be depending on what type of bike you want to start with but what i've seen what everybody can start with it's a low cc type a 300 like this a yamaha 300 you could go with the mt03 that's a naked type of bike um, you could go with a kawasaki 400 full fairing or the z400 um, or if you feel more confident what everybody have started with they have started with a 650 uh, well 600 but usually a 650 like a kawasaki 650 that is a perfect kind of bike to start with actually that was going to be my first bike but the place i was going to buy from they act ended up selling it and i was just all pissed off so i ended up buying this <laughs> but the 650 is actually a good kind of starter bike because it has enough power so you won't get it bored like a 300 or 400 because after a while you get comfortable you, you get to learn your bike and you, if you're trying to go faster yeah you, know, you have a limit there so at 650 it's a perfect kind of starter bike so for beginner yeah okay i would say a 650 so any kind of class a kawasaki yamaha um for the yamaha they have i believe a r7 so even to start with that it's tuned perfectly on those 650s classes you're not on top of the tank you're more up straight your arms in front of you your legs are gonna uh sometimes tucked in or maybe it's just at 90 degree angle but depending on comfortable you want to start with you could go with a 300 400 and at the end you can sell it if you want to and get a bigger bike so there you go i gave the top five for my opinion and it could go from there but all right guys um i just stopped inside of the road so i can just end up the video because i'm coming coming too close to my house <laughs> all right guys if you want to see more let me know in the comments all right guys thanks for watching i'll catch you next time on the beginner guide of riding so peace guys